Hello and welcome to CAD Graphic Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how to use the loft feature. Alright, with your Autodesk Invents 2013 already opened, head to New and you'll own a, you want to open this new standard millimeter.ipt. Alright, as your blank workspace appears, head to Create 2D Sketch and then select one of the three planes. Preferably, I use this plane here, which is the front plane. Alright select circle and type in the dimension of what the biggest part rad, um, radius or diameter of your loft is going to be so we'll do 50 mils and just hit that and press enter head to finish sketch and then after that once you've got that then head to origin which is here under view master and then go to XY plane, just click on that, then head to work features here where, it's pl where the plane is. Click on plane and just within the top right corner here, just drag it out. And this here is the distance you want your loft to be. So you can have it 50 mils, you can have it 10 here, but in this case, I think we'll do 50. There you go. Oh, change to that side, but that's alright. Alright, with that plan work plane you just created, create a 2D sketch on it. Okay, as you can see, it's created a 2D sketch on it. And this now is the smallest part or the base of your loft. Base of the loft, I think we'll do. Looks good. 20. 30 mils, we'll do it. And just finish sketch. Now that you've got your two circles drawn, as you can see here, now is the time to loft it. But first of all, just get rid of this plane. Just right click on it and press visibility, just because otherwise you just start doing your heading or get in the way. All right, click on loft, which is above above sweep and next to coil. And then with just select the outside of your circle, you just create two circles. So there and there, and then it should automatically do it and press OK, and there's your loft. Just making this now, it is completed, but it does look a bit like a cup. So I'll just quickly teach you a trick if you didn't know how to hollow out something, just so this does actually look like a cup. If you do, head to shell here, right next to fillet. You can click on the top bit of your um, loft, and then. As you can see, it'll fill it like fill out your cup or loft, and then you can set your distance here or there to the thickness you want it to be. So at 1.5, just press enter, and there is your finished loft-like cup. Thank you for listening, guys, and hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe as well and like. Thank you.